My name is Scurvy, and today we're going to be reacting to a video titled, Rich Kid Thinks Poor People Are Like Dirt. Wait for it! Rich Kids Go Skink. Wait for it! Channel 5. Let's get into it. Today's rich kid going skint is a first year university student and a married mother of one. I'm Maria. I'm 21 years old. I grew up in Russia. I later went on to boarding school in Switzerland. Then I went to high school in America and I came to England for university to study geology. As the daughter of wealthy Russian parents, Maria's always been cushioned in comfort. As a child, I basically got everything I wanted. Uh, I did not know that there is such a word as no. I don't know why parents won't tell their kids no. They're just setting them up for failure. My parents worked really hard for me to have all of the best things in life. And now my husband works very hard for me and for my daughter. So, you know, like, why not have them? But what are you going to do if they just cut you off? Are you still going to be able to afford those Gucci flip-flops? Flip Along with a London pad, Maria's parents have also provided her with a flat in Staffordshire where she's studying. But it's hardly your average student digs. Is that a broken cup? UNACCEPTABLE! So this is my penthouse. There's three bedrooms here, two ensuite bathrooms, one guest bathroom, and now needs room. All of that, but she still has a tiny staircase that looks like it was from Ikea. Ikea tower. So beautiful. I have a nanny for my baby. I also have a maid uh, who comes in and uh, cleans, cooks sometimes. I think it's super hard to be alone like a, like a mother without any help, you know. Didn't she just say she had a husband, though? And now my husband works very hard. Cha cha, real smooth. He's bringing in the money. The least you could do is clean. Maria definitely needs no help putting together a top-class designer wardrobe. Hers is a far cry from what most students would be wearing. Dolce & Gabbana was around a thousand pounds. One thousand pounds? No way! Why would you waste so much money on that? It doesn't even look good. There's a favorite here by Stella McCartney. It was 800 pounds-ish, maybe a thousand. Somebody take her to an old navy. This looks like a standard boring dress to me. A designer wardrobe always requires designer accessories. This is my most recent baby. This was 14,000 pounds. 14,000 pounds? You could get a really nice used car for that. And look at that purse. It's so small my hand couldn't even fit in it. I gotta get into purse business. I often forget to look at the price tag, but <laughs> you know, what can you do? <laughs> it's a habit. <laughs> what can you do? You can look at the price tag. It's pretty simple. So in total here, there's around 60,000, 70,000 pounds. Mr. Krabs needs to slap some sense into this girl. Donate to the children's fund? Why? What have children ever done for me? And there's definitely no expense spared either when it comes to clothing Maria's eight-month-old daughter, Sandra. This is just a small fraction of her things. Dolce & Gabbana, like a warm winter suit kind of thing. There's another Dolce & Gabbana. This is a dress. I got for her and Harrods. This cost 1,500 pounds. You better keep those tags on because she's gonna grow out of that in a week. I like my baby to have the best things that are out there, the most exclusive, the most expensive. I got my first Chanel bag when I was five years old. I like to keep that tradition going. I like her to have the best things as well. Can't wait till she can actually hold on to something so I can get her her first Chanel bag. But now Maria will be bidding farewell to Haute Couture and live-in nannies to educate herself on the struggles faced by a family surviving on benefits. I actually don't know anything about benefits. I uh, don't even know like how they work or what they are. So I'm actually looking forward to like finding out about how it works. How do you not know how that works? You're a full-grown adult. The rich kid does, however, have a few reservations about living on a council estate. When I think of poor family in a poor area, I automatically think of um, dirt. People who don't take uh, care of themselves, like, look-wise. Living skint is definitely going to be quite an education when rich kids go skint. This 
little one down here is Maddie. He's four. He's our oldest son. Mm-hmm. I've actually got something. Um, oh, wow. Thank you for having me oh, thank you. here. Oh, my gosh. And... What do you say? Good boy. <laughs> that's amazing. There's chocolates inside. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. That's pretty nice that she gave that kid a gift. I wasn't expecting that. So this is our kitchen. Uh, well, my kitchen is... Uh, maybe three, four times as big. You can't go flexing about how big your kitchen is when you didn't even pay for it. I just really enjoy the process of cooking, so yeah. I need my space. You do all your cooking yourself? Uh, well, not all of my cooking, but you sometimes when I'm in the you. mood, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I have a maid, and she oh, wow. usually... Wow, does she do your washing? Yeah, yeah, she cleans and sometimes she cooks. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I would love to have that for one day. <laughs> So this is the older son's room. It's not very spacious. So what's your baby's room like? Like there's a little walk-in um, wardrobe. Yeah. Oh, her wow. Wardrobe. She has her own wardrobe at eight months. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I think she has more clothes than me at oh this point. Gosh. Becky's younger son, Alfie, is suffering from a bad cold. But unlike Maria, she doesn't have a nanny to help out with the demands of motherhood. Alfie's now 18 months and I've never had more than two hours away from him. Two hours later. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. But what about you? How do you find it having help? Well, it just means that I can, you know, do stuff. I can yeah. go, go to class, I can go out to party. I need to get away and I need to have time to myself. I feel like I need to have time to myself sometimes and mm -hmm. sometimes it does get a bit much for me and I get a bit stressed and I just go and have a quiet five minutes if I can. That is so stressful. It is very stressful. It's such a small space and she has to do everything. She has to cook for the two kids, do the washing, clean, and all of that while the babies are like, I, I don't know, I don't know how she does it. For Becky, the wealth divide between her and Maria is immediately obvious. I thought that was a lip gloss thing at first. I never seen a vape like that before. Also, don't vape, it's bad for you. Vape nation! I saw the way that she was dressed and the suitcase that she bought. And I was just thinking that's probably worth more than what I get in one month's money. Maria's rich kid lifestyle is something Becky and Hammer could only dream about. They're keen to sit her down and find out more. I usually spend around four or five thousand pounds a month. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of money. With that amount of money, I think that we would definitely be able to survive for at least seven to eight months yeah. on everything, on travel, bills, food, the whole lot. That's crazy to me. Well, these people don't waste as much money on stupid stuff. It shouldn't be that crazy. And you're spending that in four weeks? Yeah. I'm actually, like, trying, you're trying to, cut, to down, cut down, and that's me cutting down. Like, before, like, last year, we would usually spend um, around... Eight, nine thousand pounds a month. Wow. Just imagine if she invested that money in the GameStop. I wish I had that much money to waste. So what is it that you're not buying that you would actually like to buy, but you're figuring is actually too expensive to buy? Well, sometimes, like, I'll see a dress um, that costs, you know, um, I don't know, like, 20,000 pounds. <laughs> and and I'm like, I already, like, I already have dresses you already have that a are... You already have 20,000 pounds? Yeah. Like evening gowns. We can oh start gosh. our future in that Twenty thousand pounds would last us more than one year. So, what's your most expensive item that you have purchased? A Birkin bag, a crocodile skin. Um, that one was thirty-four thousand pounds. This just makes me mad. Are you actually serious? Yeah. My gosh, that is actually crazy. How many times do you go on holiday a year? Four or five times. Four or five times a year. Yeah. I love skiing. If the whole family is going, it'll cost us around 50,000. Wow. That's actually crazy. That's wow. For a holiday. Well, we and how, we how, long do you, how long do you go for? Well, we usually go for like two weeks. So 50,000 pounds for two weeks or 10 days. When rich kids go skins. Oh, shit. 
What's he doing? I think he's over the worst of it now. Um, he's definitely a lot more better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. I also think it's a mixture of TV as well, though. He just needs to sleep and rest. If he doesn't improve, Becky will take Alfie to her local GP. But Maria's shocked to discover it won't be private healthcare that she'll be using. Growing up, when the doctor wasn't available, they would fly in a doctor for me. He's tired. But it's good. It's good that he's getting sleep. Yeah, definitely. I feel terrible that they have to go through the whole NHS experience and they cannot go private. I didn't realize that people actually willingly, like, go to the NHS. I don't know anything about universal health care. While his younger brother Alfie rests, Maria can't wait to show Maddie the bargain she found yesterday at the charity shop. I was told that you like Gruffalo. Do you like Gruffalo? Gruffalo bear. And then, since the winter is coming, I thought that you might need a warm jumper. What's that? Do you like that? What's that? Yeah, is that good? Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, it's big. It is but so big. It will fit we, you. Yeah. You can grow into it in a couple of years, can't you? Realising how little the family has to spend on clothes, Maria's decided to make a donation from her own wardrobe. So I got you a little something. Um, this is a sweater um, from Laura Piano. It's cashmere. So what is cashmere? I've never really heard of that before. It's my favourite type of... Uh, material because wow. it's cozy, it's soft, and it's warm. It's... It looks very expensive. It was around four or five hundred pounds. Wow. For one jumper. James catches, puts up the three. Won't go. Rebound box. Back out to Allen. History part of Tie game with five seconds remaining. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. She's absolutely amazing. <laughs> she's so lovely. Um, I was really worried about when she come in, but she's so down to earth, and we've got quite a lot in common as well. That's pretty nice of her to give some stuff to the family. That's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please comment something, or if you didn't enjoy it, you could also still comment something. I don't really care. But thank you. That's it. Peace. I am making uh, baked macaroni treats with a major twist. And what's the twist? Breast milk. <laughs>